Well, a rally tonight at the Greenwich Village Bar celebrates a pivotal moment in the gay rights movement. A police raid 50 years ago at the Stonewall Inn became a major catalyst for the LGBTQ plus community. Our colleague Carl Schmidt is live in New York City where the day long celebration is continuing oh, right now. Carl? Mark and Colleen, 50 years ago on this very day in the bar behind me, the Stonewall Inn, things changed forever for people in the LGBTQ plus community. Riots took place right here on these streets and now I am joined by thousands of people who are here in New York celebrating World Pride. There's not rioting in the street, there's dancing in the street and it's not just the average folks here on the street, the celebrities have been down here and adding their thoughts on this special day as well. Happy 50th anniversary of Stonewall. This is a historic day. You should be so, so proud of yourselves. You know, we always have to thank the people who came before us. And we stand on the shoulders of drag queens and trans men and women, out queer people then, who are just fed up, and we should never forget that. Honestly, if we don't know our history, there's no way to change our future. That struggle is not done. You can still be fired in 28 states for being LGBTQ. It's still criminalized in so many countries. So as we're celebrating World Pride, I want to remind people to recommit to the fight that started here until we have full global equality for everyone. We have a long way to go. Today is the day to reflect on our past and how we got here and the progress we've made. And then tomorrow is about moving forward. Be bold and embrace the Stonewall legacy. Let me tell you, we're all embracing the Stonewall legacy and heritage. It really was the start of the gay rights movement, and it changed things around the world for so many people. I've got to tell you guys, the party is in full swing down here, uh, down in lower Manhattan. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.